Hello, so in this video we're going to take a look at what may happen when driving tests resume but an examiner or pupil or instructor is told to isolate. So people keep asking me when are the driving tests going to resume and the latest news as I release this video is that we'll know within a week from now. So over the coming days I'll be doing a video when the DVSA update the information and the reason I'll be updating this is because they originally said the tests were cancelled up until June the 20th so that's only a few days away so there's bound to be an update coming soon but what will happen when examiners are told to isolate well this has the potential to cause absolute mayhem let's imagine that your test is booked for September and I'll still say I highly doubt that any tests will be done before September days before the test you could get an email saying it's been cancelled because the examiner has had to self-isolate because they've been in contact with someone who's had the virus. Now that's a very high probability because examiners normally do seven tests each per day where I am. So normally an examiner would meet around about 40 pupils per week. Now because of the time it's taking between tests for them to do things like change the PPE, they have to wipe down the tablet, wash their hands. The DVSA have said they will allow more time between tests. So that means less tests are going to be done per day. They'll probably do four or five a day instead of the usual seven. So all this means, first of all, with only roughly half the number of tests being done, the waiting times for tests will at least double. So where I am, it's normally about a month. It will now be about two months. Add into that the fact that you've got this massive backlog because some people have still been learning with family. A lot of people have left messages on my channel saying they're learning with family members. So there's this huge backlog of learners. There's double the delay on tests. And then if your examiner is told to isolate, that means that you'll be put back to the back of the queue and it could be potentially you could have multiple tests cancelled, it could drag on for months. Now also your instructor could be told to isolate and they're going to have to have two weeks off. Or you could be told to isolate and you've got to have two weeks off. And it's going to be very interesting, I suppose you could say, to see how this is all going to pan out when things get started again. So there's a lot of delays. People seem to think that they're just going to open the test centres next month and it'll all be back to normal. That's not going to happen. There's going to be a lot of delays. I don't think that centres will be open until September. I have a feeling, and I know this is not going to please people, I have a feeling they won't be opening it till next year. Now, I doubt whether they're going to be doing driving tests until social distancing is eradicated. Now, I just went out into my car and I measured the distance between me and where the people would sit and it's two thirds of a meter from like head to head so even if they reduce the social distancing down to one or one and a half meters or one meter that's still not going to be enough now i don't want to be negative because i like being positive but i'm being realistic if you have a test booked in july i very much doubt it's going to be done because a lot of people are saying oh i've got my test next month i can't see any way they're ever going to be doing tests anything before September it will be difficult even before October November and the reason is you may have heard on the news this week they were planning to have the schools uh, reopen again and have said no that won't happen and many schools are saying it's going to be a struggle to open even in September so you know it's all about social distancing and um, that won't be going away anytime soon even if shops open and whatever pubs open it's all with social distancing and even if you cut that down to one meter there's no way you're going to be able to be in a car unless you have the windows fully down it's quite interesting is a car indoors or outdoors because you are sitting indoors there's a door there and a door there so you are in between doors but you're also outside so it's quite interesting to know whether they will class the car as indoors or outdoors because you're kind of indoors outdoors so what do you think about that is it indoors or outdoors let me know 
um, in the comments below. So just my thoughts there. I will be doing a video in the coming week about when the centres are reopening. We may not have a firm date of when it will be, but we'll know when it won't be because there are pupils, and I've got some pupils with test booked in July, and they will probably be cancelled in the coming week or two. But we don't know. I'm just guessing people keep asking these questions. When's it going to be? As for me, I'm not planning on restarting any lessons until September. Um, I may not even be starting lessons again. I don't know, because as you may know, I've now moved on to other things, as many instructors have. There are many instructors out there now who have just given up on driving, especially the new instructors that have just started the job in the last year. Unfortunately, many of those have been wiped out by this because they haven't qualified for the self-employment, um, what's it called, the self-employment help scheme, whatever it's called. And many people have been completely wiped out by this. So even when things do start up again, there will be many instructors that have gone. Many schools will have collapsed. It's a terrible thing that's happening, but, um, you know, don't blame me because some people are blaming me in my videos saying it's all my fault. They seem to think that I control the test booking system. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm only here trying to help you. Um, it's no good shooting me and <laughs> blaming me for all of this. So check out the other videos on the screen now. And as always, I'll see you again soon for more videos.